Hey guys, welcome to uh, another review. Tonight, um, it's fairly early in the morning, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, 2.40 here. I wanted to get this review out of the way. It's um, a vast internet security 5.1 beta, 0.822, it's the newest one that they have out. And the uh, reason I wanted to do this now is because I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to actually take care of it. But anyway. So we can see that their new 5.1 beta pretty much is identical from what I could see. Um, there might be some differences that everyday users would see, but I don't use the fast, so unless somebody specifically told me what they were, I wouldn't know where to look for them. One of the one things I will talk about that I saw is that they've added some more triggers to their behavior shield though it's still not fully activated yet um, but the one interesting thing is here it monitors it has these new monitors in here but it's all set to allow I'm gonna change that to ask I want to give it a fair chance you know even though I normally like to test things in stock settings I want to see if it will catch anything and as you just saw it is updated up just updated two minutes ago so let's open up Internet Explorer I have um, I don't know 12 or so links something like that that we can check out and see um, how it does so let's try the first one here and that one was blocked, so that's good to see. It's a Trojan horse. It looks like that one got through. Now this is going to be a DLL file. So it's part of a piece of malware. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to save it. And it should catch it with the signature is what I would suspect. It doesn't look like it caught it at all. But we'll keep going here. This looks like a screensaver. This one I don't think is going to work and I'm actually going to skip it on purpose because I realize that this is going to just download a bunch of um, junk in Internet Explorer. I don't even know why I put it in there. And it's going to lock up Internet Explorer for some oddball reason. This one's dead. I'll go to that other one on the way back to show you what it does. Okay, that one was blocked. still loading so I'm gonna open up a new tab here okay now one was blocked that one looks like it's dead maybe so is that one you see something here Looks like I won't be able to test all of them. Didn't know some of these were already dead. Okay, that one got blocked through the URL. So that's good, and that one's dead. And I'm just going to go back to show you what this one actually does. It gives you one of these deals. And it tends to lock up Internet Explorer, and I just don't want to mess with it right now. So, I'm going to open up task manager kill internet explorer and um, I will do a full scan maybe see there you go it's not responding it's in up 100% of the CPU so, there we go. 
I'm going to pause the video now and do a full system scan. Let's see if we have anything running in memory that's oddball. Maybe like that one. Don't see anything really well. We'll see. So I'm going to start a full system scan and I will be back when this is done. Scanning shouldn't be too long. Um, Avast has a fairly fast scanner. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so the scan finished and it found two threats. So let's check them out and see what they are. So it looks like during the scan it did find that DLL we downloaded and it looks like it found something and uh, oh, it did find that malware that we uh, had open and when we had to force the shutdown of Internet Explorer so we're gonna apply these two to get rid of them they should be done so we will close it it wants me to run a boot time scan I'm not going to do that right now because there's no point. Nothing was in RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my testing tools, put them on the desktop, run CCleaner, and then run Malwarebytes. And I'll be back with the results for Malwarebytes when that's uh, done scanning. So I'll see you then. There you go, guys. I wanted to show you the behavior shield actually coming into play. Um, I was going to run CCleaner here, and it popped up and asked me a question. It's trying to modify a protected resource and you can allow it, allow it, manage the trusted programs, deny, and all those fun things. So I'm going to allow that just so you can see what that actually looks like. Alright, so I'll be back. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here. It took about seven minutes. Looks like I found a couple of things that were missed by Avast. We have a backdoor agent. startup this doctor that link and we have a temp file here exploit heuristics so we're going to remove these two and I'm going to run hitman pro when this is done there we go now it's done so we can see if anything else this found. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when Hitman Pro is done. I gotta let it update first though. Okay so Hitman Pro finished scanning here and it found a couple things. We have a DLL sitting in uh, System32 and that's a generic looks like shutdowner and um, we have a CSSRS, which is what I see running in memory. It must be that one. Yep. And that is, uh, looks like it just says infected piece of malware. And that's live and running in RAM right now. So I'm also going to do a scan with Super anti spyware because I got some time before I uh, wrap this up just to give us our third overall opinion. So let me pause the video one more time here and I'll be back when Super anti spyware is done scanning. Okay guys, so it looks like Super anti spyware found three things. Let's check them out here. It found basically the memory process and the file and a prefetch associated with um, that one Trojan but it didn't find the other one so you can see uh, how Avast did it did alright but it still let some things through and even though their behavior even though I turned the behavior on as you want to call it it never asked me for anything um, 
that was actually malware. It only asked me for uh, legitimate um, files to see if they did, you know, anything. So I guess you know they need, they still need to work on it some more. So that's it really for this review. I'm not going to come to a final conclusion or anything until they release their final version. I uh, didn't see much of an improvement from their 5.0. They probably did some more fixes and things more than anything in the background. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to stop this review now. I'll probably just upload it up online tomorrow. So everybody take care and have a good day.